Hey, I'm Sven Masterson, one of the co-founders and mentors on the Mentoring Men platform and community. And in this video, I wanted to expound a little bit on the principle of self-reliance and self-sourcing. Many men who watch our videos mistake our instruction about needing to learn to make yourself happy as being us saying that if you self-source, you're self-reliant, and you make yourself happy, that you, you should just be indefinitely okay being in a marriage or relationship or scenario or situation that you do not find agreeable. And that is not how we feel. The reason we are so deeply concerned about a man learning to be self-reliant and how to self-source his happiness is because when we do not self-source our happiness and we have dependencies on other people for our happiness, the motivations that we might have for deciding to end a marriage or, or move on are really kind of immature and misguided. You see, a man who cannot make himself happy on a day-to-day -day basis in this relationship, in a terrible relationship, in a horrible relationship, he can't make himself happy in any relationship because he has fundamentally decided that he's, he's going to live under a set of beliefs or stories in which happiness happens to him instead of happiness happening in him. And so we first help men to learn how to be great at being the creators and masters of their own happiness, how to be men who create happiness within themselves in any circumstance and anywhere they find themselves. Now that doesn't mean then that we say, okay, now that you're happy, you should just stay in a horrible marriage that doesn't serve you. It doesn't mean that we tell men to stay in sexless marriages endlessly. In fact, we tell men all the time that if you love um, your marriage more than your desire for the kind of life you want, you'll probably have neither because you will in some way erode something within yourself in order to stay married. Now that confuses a lot of people and we're not going to be able to unpack all the nuance about those statements in a short YouTube video. This is what we do in our mentoring programs with men. We help men understand that the paradox of being a man and being honest and authentic about your desire is that it needs to trump everything else in life. People get scared hearing that. They think we're saying, well, you've got to just move on quickly and easily from women. And we don't think that. In fact, uh, half of the founders have been in decades-long marriages. We're happily married. We are, we're committed to our families. And the thing that actually gives rocket fuel to that commitment is that we will not sacrifice our core truth and integrity as men in order to stay in that marriage. And that actually creates safety, both for us as men, but also for our partners and, and our families, because that is the best place to be as a man, is to walk through life and relationships with an integrity. And integrity, part of integrity, is being very clear about what you want in life, knowing um, the deep desires of the heart that they're good and being unapologetic about that. And so for a man, for example, in a sexless relationship, this is a common thing. If, if intimacy, physical intimacy that you'd have in marriage is important to me, if I'm willing to give that up in order to have something else that's less important, maybe like not having conflict or so that um, my kids, you know, stay in the same household, for example. Well, I'm actually eroding something true. I'm hiding and suppressing a desire that is a good desire. It's not like that desire is an immoral, evil desire to want to be intimate with the marriage partner. And so if I'm willing to compromise that desire, I'm actually not a trustable man. I'm not going to be sexually or romantically attractive to a woman. In fact, I'm probably going to cause her resentment because I so easily move away from my truth. And so don't mistake when we talk about self-sourcing and self-reliance um, as being our strategy to just make eating a shit sandwich taste good. That's what a lot of people fear as our message, and it's just not. In fact, we hear that term now and again where men are just, they're concerned that we're just going to teach them how to be so happy in suffering that they'll just suffer indefinitely. And that's not the case. What we show men how to do is to thrive in any circumstance 
so that he can have confidence, calmness, clarity, that he can be grounded, and from that place, make clear decisions about relationships, his mission, his purpose, his future, and do all of that, not in a fearful, anxious reaction to something that's happening in his wife or partner, but to do so from a clear place of values, from an open heart, a warm heart, a heart free of resentment, a heart free of blame and anger and bitterness and contempt. That's a settled place. And if you're going to end a relationship, that is a great place to do it. In fact, we would say it's really the only good place to end a relationship is when you can have that going on inside you because it's clear and because you know how to maintain your insides, you know how to have emotional strength, emotional resiliency, and be at peace, then when you do end that relationship, you're not taking all that baggage into whatever is next. Now, again, we realize these YouTube videos, we can only say so much in one video, and the nature of these videos is that people watch them in whatever order they want to watch them in, and reality it takes us about six months or so to walk men through some pretty complex things and so if you're curious about these concepts and you want to know more certainly watch all the the videos we have here we're continue to put them out more and more and more while we have, while we find time between talking to guys but if you want to go deeper than that we would invite you to come into the community come deeper into the conversation with men who are actually living the lives they want and who are in that process men who are learning how to be emotionally resilient, how to be calm, confident, how to be strong, how to have courage, how to be clear about what they want, how to be men that do not compromise on things that are important to them, and see how that is transforming their relationships. Not by causing their relationships to end, but oftentimes by creating so much vigor and vitality in the man that it changes the nature of the polarity between he and his partner. There's all kinds of good things happening in our community, in the men in our community, and we would love for you to be a part of that. You can go to the description below. You can click a link to sign up if you want to do that. You can explore that. There's seven days without, without any fees. It's only $25 a month if you do join. Uh, we have 98.6% of the men who join stay. So it seems to us that people really like what we're doing. If you want to talk to one of us first, we would invite you to Click another link below that'll talk about how to set up a session with myself or one of the other mentors. We would love to talk with you a little bit more about your story, what's going on, where are you struggling, where are you uncertain about how to create things like happiness, where are you uncertain about your value system, where do you feel like you're, you might be compromising. Really, we'll talk to you about anything going on in your life as a man that you feel like, you know what, I could really use somebody to kind of walk beside me through this and help you know me sort through my own insides we don't tell men what to do we help you find kind of the innate wisdom that's already in there that's just clouded up and feels opaque because of shame and fear and anxiety and insecurity and uncertainty and all that stuff that just makes walking through life pretty difficult all that we do in a free complimentary session we don't ask you for anything there's no sales pitch you just get to see what is it these guys are like what do they talk about what do they do and instead of it being an impersonal YouTube video like this one, it's one-on-one, -on -one. it's about you. We share ourselves with you, and I think you'd, you'd really enjoy that if you're open to it. That's below, and with that, I wish you a good day. Best wishes on your walk as a man, and I hope to see you soon. Take care.